Hey guys. hey guys! Merry Christmas from Spain! Look, we just wanted to send out a little video and say hey and tell you guys how much we love you, tell you a little bit about what's going on here and just kind of show you what it's like doing Christmas here in Spain. There's a lot of similarities between the way we normally celebrate Christmas and the way Spaniards do. Every town has lots of Christmas lights up and decorations and they even do um, like lighting of the tree ceremonies. So it's very festive and colorful and lots of lights. One difference is that th there's snow on the mountain. We live right at the base of a mountain range and so uh, it's beautiful to walk out and see the, the mm -hmm. snow and luckily we have a wood burning fireplace and this is awesome. And being able to start a fire in your house is awesome. But you know, there's just certain things that make Christmas special. Yeah. Like going to Fiji family members' houses. Ugly Christmas sweaters. Matching pajamas. Yes. <laughs> Barbecue meatballs, finger foods. Oh, my dad's punch. Riding around looking at Christmas lights. Hallmark movie marathons. So. I'm thinking about those little white cookies that my grandma makes. They had the peanut butter on the inside, it's like white chocolate. I'm not sure how mm. she makes it. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Jamming out to NSYNC Christmas and really thinking that you can sing like Mariah Carey. Uh-huh. You get it, right? The music, the movies, the smells, the sounds, the lights, the trees. There's just something about those traditions that really make sense of things. Those, the unspokens, those things that just are and always have been. They give you that level of comfortability and familiarity and vulnerability with your family and your friends. And it feels good and it's a big part of this season. For a lot of us, these are the things that really make this time so special. This is also why for those who have experienced significant change, that this time can also be one of the hardest. Losses in your family, kids growing up, family moving away. You know, this is our first year ever that we've been away for Christmas. And no matter how many times I have to listen to Michael Bublé's Christmas album, it's just not the same. When I'm thinking about the thing that we're actually celebrating, the, the birth and the life of our Savior, of Jesus, of our, our brother, our co-heir, our teacher, who we are disciples of. We're spending this time to celebrate the, his birth and his life. So the question we can ask ourselves is, what are the true values of Jesus that are, are in these traditions, represented by the things we do at Christmas? How can we make sure that we're instilling these, these values in ourselves and our families that will remain year after year? even if the traditions change. I think about gratitude. In 1 Thessalonians 5.18 it says, Be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who are in Christ Jesus. A lot of times we reflect on the past year um, during the Christmas season as we are approaching a new year and we want to know, like, what's God's will for our lives? The answer is being thankful. Gratitude positions your heart to receive what God really wants to give you. Another one is love and compassion. It's really just a true biblical value that Jesus taught. Guys, compassion is a gift. You can't fake it. It's a heart. And in Matthew 9, 36, Jesus just found out this terrible news and all he wanted to do was go somewhere and be alone but as soon as he got to where he was going he saw the crowds and he was moved with compassion for them because they needed him and there's people that need you right now right outside the doors and it's really tough when we're constantly thinking about ourselves or when we're constantly busy everybody talks about how busy this time of the year is but the truth is I mean, if we're really talking about being disciples of Jesus and modeling our lives after Him, I can't think of a time in Scripture when Jesus was ever in a hurry. Anybody that He was around, 
he always had time for them. He always looked them in the eyes. He always made them feel important. And he always showed compassion, no matter the circumstances. There's always time for compassion. The last value that we want to talk about is fellowship. Acts 2.42 says they met together in each other's homes and broke bread and prayed and studied the apostles' teachings. Guys, this was the church. And even if we're a far away, if we're not with our immediate families or the people that we're used to being with this time of year in God's kingdom here on earth, we have kingdom family everywhere we go. So our challenge to you this year is no matter if you're continuing traditions that you've always done or if you're starting new traditions, be intentional. Think about how those traditions reflect the values of the one that we're celebrating, the life and birth of Jesus this year. Love and compassion, gratitude and thanksgiving, and fellowship. Thank you guys for sending us here to Spain. Thank you for the opportunity to even share Christmas here with people who are seeking out the truth about Jesus. And we get to be a part of that, and you get to be a part of that um, through our ministry here. We love you guys. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. Feliz Navidad. You literally just said everything I just said. I know. <laughs> okay.